In Batman Forever, the Riddler, also known as Edward Nigma, is portrayed by Jim Carrey. Nigma starts as a brilliant but eccentric scientist working at Wayne Enterprises. Obsessed with Bruce Wayne, Nigma idolizes him but becomes disillusioned when Bruce dismisses his brainwave manipulation invention as too dangerous. Driven by a desire for revenge and recognition, Nigma adapts the persona of the Riddler. As the Riddler, he partners with Two-Face to wreak havoc on Gotham City and to uncover Batman's secret identity. Using his invention, which absorbs intelligence from its users, he becomes more maniacal and powerful. The Riddler's flamboyant personality and riddles challenge Batman and eventually lead to a climactic showdown. In the end, the Riddler's plans are thwarted by Batman, who outsmarts him, leading to his ultimate defeat and incarceration. The Riddler in Batman Forever is characterized by his manic energy, flamboyant costume, and obsession with puzzles and riddles, making him a memorable and distinct villain in the Batman film series. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a nostalgic trip back to Gotham City with McFarlane's latest collect-to-build wave of Batman Forever. This time, let us set the stage with the enigmatic Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse The Riddler and it is number three of four characters to collect to build Nightmare Bat. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see the logo of the movie, McFarlane Toys, The Riddler, Batman Forever. The lap shows a continuation of the clear window, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, The Riddler. Finally, the back of the box shows a photo of the collectible figure Nightmare Bat. The part of the collectible included in this figure and a photo of all the characters in the wave. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if McFarlane did justice to this character in action figure form. The figure scales at 7 and a quarter inches or 18 and a half centimeters. As for the accessories, he comes with a standard McFarlane art card with a short data pile at the back, standard McFarlane base or stand with a DC logo, one alternate open hands and one alternate closed fist hands. This is in addition to the weapon holding hands that he already has now on him. And finally, the Riddler step, which I already have on him now. And since this is part of a collectible wave, he comes with this part of the nightmare bat. Almost forgot, he also comes with this uh, bird-shaped bomb. I'm pretty sure these are the bombs that he used when he was destroying the bat cave. Now, let us take a closer look at the figure for the head sculpt. Yeah, that is definitely Jim Carrey. They knock it out of the ballpark when it comes to the head sculpt of these movie figures. I mean, they definitely got Jim Carrey's look, especially on this side. As for the body mold, 
I'm thinking that this is a 100% new mold because this is like a slim and tall body mold, which actually is what the Riddler, Riddler's version of Jim Carrey looks like. A tall, slim person. Yeah, Jim Carrey is a pretty tall and slim person. So, yeah, uh, I'm thinking that this is a completely new mold overall. Collect me if I'm wrong, guys, but yeah, that is my verdict on this one. I think this is a completely new mold, especially this torso one. I think this is the first time that I saw a figure with a slim and long build. Even the shoes, I think these are completely new mold. As for the costume, since, yeah, this is actually how simple the costume of the Riddler is in the movie. So this is a completely new blank, blank canvas that McFarlane has, which I guess they can reuse for characters with the same body features. And I'm just glad that at the back of this figure, those question marks are also, they are also there because sometimes the design is mostly on the front and then there's not the back is completely blank but in the case of this one yeah but berlin definitely put all those question mark wherever they can a pretty simple figure but to be honest i love it it i think it captures jim's jim carrey's look overall Now let's go with articulation. Can do that, can do that, can look down a little, can look up a little, side by side. For the hands, you can do the T pose. You can actually do that because of the way the this is cut. So you can actually do that. So you can actually do this. Okay, so double jointed elbow, bicep cut, double pegged wrist. Abdominal cut, waist rotation. You can bend backward that far. You can bend forward, not that much, side to side. For the leg, there's a little articulation there. Double jointed knee. Then you can do that. Then they can do that toe articulation and ankle rocker you can kick forward that far you can kick backward that far and you can do the bend down okay sometimes when i do this the diaphragm got stuck like that but if you move it there, so you can do the bend them that far. For size comparison against the other figures in this wave, so here he is with Robin. Here he is with his partner in crime, Two Face. And here he is with Paul Kilmer's Batman. Overall, another amazing figure released by McFarlane. They are really killing it when it comes to this movie weave. They definitely got Jim Carrey's look. And yeah, let's face it. The villains, the Riddler and Two-Face, are the main star of this wave. 
So for me, this is a definite buy. If you reach this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. It really helps my channel. So guys, again, thank you. And as usual, enjoy life and keep collecting.